Hello. Hi. We are the Tifo football team and we're recording a daily podcast throughout the World Cup. In the podcast, we chat about the matches that happened on that day and more importantly, the tactics, where coaches got it right and where they got it wrong. The video you're about to watch on Mexico and Germany came from a chat that we had in a podcast last week. So if you want to get the lowdown as early as possible, click on the link in the description or search for us on iTunes or your favorite podcast app. Thanks for watching. Mexico beat Germany 1-0 in what was perhaps the least expected result of the tournament so far. On paper, Germany have a stronger squad and in Joachim Löw, a manager who has won the World Cup and the Confederations Cup and therefore would not be expected to make the sort of errors that left Germany consistently vulnerable. This was nominally a battle between two 4-2-3-1s, but there were significant differences in how both sides played. Germany pushed both their fullbacks very high, especially Joshua Kimmich, who has teamed up well with Thomas Müller on the right for Bayern this season and is an assist machine. There was certainly a sense that Germany felt they could dominate territory and possession, and so they were unafraid to press up the pitch. Unfortunately for Germany though, two factors meant that this was an unwise approach. Firstly, Carlos Vela, who was outstanding both creatively and defensively, and Javier Hernandez both teamed up well to mark Toni Kroos out of the game. Because Germany advanced into high positions to receive the ball, rather than working to carry it forwards, their ability to get the ball into dangerous areas relied on Kroos pulling the strings as he usually does, but due to this marking, he couldn't, and that disrupted Germany's build-up play. Secondly, Germany frequently attacked without playing to their strengths. Timo Werner is superb at running onto quick, flat through balls, and indeed, this did work a few times towards the beginning of the game, a combination of Mexico's marking of passing lanes and reductive Germany attacks once they'd conceded meant that Werner became a hard-working but ineffective figure before being replaced. Mesut Ozil's strength is creating these sort of passes too, and he was trying his best to generate opportunities centrally, but Germany otherwise seemed to abandon their game plan all too quickly. Instead, they tried to cross the ball a lot. Not only did Mexico's centre-backs defend the ball well, but the left-back, converted winger Jesus Gallardo, closed superbly. Even once Mario Gomez was on, Germany still looked like they were trying something desperate rather than playing to a game plan. Defensively, Germany also failed, and this is where Löw's biggest errors were manifest. Not only did their commitment to pushing high leave the defence, especially Jerome Boateng, very exposed, but all too often the gap between defence and midfield was only patrolled by Toni Kroos, as Germany had as many as seven outfield players ahead of the ball. Löw's response to this vulnerability was to change to a double pivot of Mesut Ozil and Toni Kroos, rather than bringing on Sebastian Rudi or even Leon Goretzka or Ilkay Gundogan to shore things up and give some semblance of ball-winning capability in the midfield. That he didn't do this was odd given Mexico's approach. And Mexico's approach was hugely effective. As well as Vela and Hernandez closing down Tony Kroos, Hector Herrera was enormously influential in midfield, winning tackles and carrying the ball forwards, while Andreas Guardado pulled strings from a deeper position and covered the back four. This allowed Mexico to counter-attack with vigour, and they did, exploiting the pace of Miguel Leon on the right and Irving Lozano on the left. Lozano, Gallardo and Guardado and left centre-back Hector Moreno made an especially effective shape on Mexico's left, exploiting Kimmich's advanced position to create chance after chance. By keeping a compact, hard-working midfield and defensive shape, exploiting their pace out wide and crucially retreating to more of a 5-4-1 as the game wore on, Mexico were tactically excellent. Several of their players, especially Lozano and Herrera, had outstanding games as well. A combination of that, great coaching and preparation by Juan Carlos Osorio, and a rare, poor tactical outing from Joachim Löw and his team, meant that while this Mexico win was a surprise, it certainly wasn't undeserved. <laughs>